like that right there. That's yeah. a little pretty balanced. Here's an amp two in the suite. Off another uh, amp that I really love here and use commonly. Um, <laughs> The style of this amp, but it has a really reactive presence knob. It almost kind of doesn't work like a standard presence knob, where it just gets brighter and fizzier. It kind of actually accentuates the the low mids and the low end of, uh, presence along with some of the high frequency. So you're left with like a bit of a thicker tone as this comes up. It's pretty. Um, it's what makes this amp kind of special too. It's, and we nailed it getting it into the plugin. So yeah. I'll play something and then you could just yeah, like listen to how. Sounds great. Yeah, this one's really killer. I run the sample with ELs as like a kind of in the studio, so I kind of left that as the default for this one because I think it has a really cool character and it helps kind of give you a different character versus amp one, but it's also very cool with the 6L6s. This is probably a less common amp. It's sort of a newer uh, model that Good I picked amp, up. Though, for sure. Yeah, it's become one of my favorites and I started using it. Um, on a lot of records, so I was like, you know what? This is a, definitely a part of my tone. I, I should include this in the in the plugin. One thing I really like about this amp is these normal tight switches that it does. It's almost like its own overdrive pedal within the amp, but the way it cleans up and pushes the mids forward and like tightens the low end and attack, it's like a really unique feature on this amp. <laughs> Here's our amp four. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Leave that right there. That sounds real good right there. So let me show you some of the uh, effects that we have in this too. So yeah, pretty uh, a pretty cool modulated filtering delay uh, based off of one of my favorite pedal delays. That is tits.